Amoeba Music Berkeley with Elit. Hey. Once again. Once again. Back is the incredible. Rhyme Animal, <laughs> Elit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, how are you doing, man? I'm good, and White Mike is here among the new releases. I love how sure. Amoeba always represents the Bay Area. Yeah, yeah. Mike is a good dude. I bought his stuff with some of the crypto stuff pretty recently. Yeah. So, so what else? Has, is he, I know he has a. Uh, I'm waiting for his vinyl. He has a LP coming out with Z Man for that. Um, the vegetable and the ferret one that they worked on together, they're pressing up an LP for, so we'll stop be stocking that too. I want his, uh, you know, he has that opening act album that he's working on too with Elon of Dysplexix. Like, that I really want to hear because that's a good combination in my opinion, but see how it is. You know, I'm sure Z will bring it. Okay, let's take a look at some new releases though. Okay. Since, since we were last here anyway. Um, so this one I think I mentioned last time, but we didn't, hadn't actually received it yet, but this is the uh, new Dag Savage album from Exile and Johaz, or Johaz, I guess he pronounces his name. Uh, latest Exile project, I think it's banging, mm -hmm. super good. Some of the best Exile beats I've heard in a minute on this, actually. And popular so. down at the uh, Hollywood store, mm -hmm. too. Yeah, it's popular over here as well, selling a lot of the LP and the CD. And uh, so I've got some great guest features from Mallow Black and Blue and, you know, the whole... I feel like Exile has a really nice kind of family for himself now. This these dirty science guys all sort of come together and uh, form. And doesn't it seem like more and more people appreciate him and notice him now? Yeah, definitely. He's he's prolific these days, you know, and that's that's a good thing. So we also off. got yeah, you know, we got Below the Heavens back in stock here too, and he has that instrumental project he dropped last year. So he's been you know, doing his thing, putting out a lot of albums. So good for him, man. Uh, a plus. New album from A Plus of Hieroglyphics. This is under a, a weird moniker, Compound Seven, which is him and uh, one other producer guy. Uh, it was like, I forget how you pronounce his name. It's like A A G E E, so it's like I G or something. Um, kind of uh, on some clubbish tip, as the the cover would suggest. Right, right. Uh, but you know, it is Hieroglyphics. It's been selling. Like their stuff just flies out of here on the regular, and I'm sure you know. A plus is probably bringing it. I haven't actually listened to this one, but it's probably bringing it on there, so worth checking. Um, more local music since you bring it up. Some White Mike of Board Stiff's latest album, as is. Just some Bay music, you know. You got Pep Love, Fat Lip, Elronius, Z Man, and Topper on one track. You know, it's pretty much like a, a Bay reunion over there. It's cheap too. It's eight ninety eight if you want to just like scoop up a copy. Um, nice people to support, as you were saying earlier. Um, Rock Marciano, new thing. This one got pushed back a little bit, but we finally got it's it in. It's a cool cover, too. It is a nice... I, I saw what this... Uh, you what never they, guessed that was a, a hip-hop. Right, I saw what they flipped for this cover, actually. It's a weird, like, Russian record of some sort that they kind of interpreted, uh, reinterpreted with us. But yeah, you know, Rock is... Um, one of the more popular rappers out of New York right now. He's also a part-time Oakland resident. I know he comes down here a lot. Oh, so he, he is? Has, okay. He has an Oakland fan base for sure. Um, he's been hinting at a show out here for a while now. It keeps seeing to get postponed, but I would, I would like to see him out here. But yeah, he's an original voice in New York, and you know, this has got like Cause on it, Action Bronson, Guilty Simpson, all those dudes. So should be good stuff. Um, Gavlin. New one from her. It's a rapper out of LA that I've been supporting here for some time. Uh, she's pretty new to the scene, but this is Looking actually at the her. Cover, you'd never guess that was a rapper. Right, 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 exactly. But she can spit. She's got a really interesting voice and, and you know, charismatic kind of delivery. Uh, this is actually her third project, too, that's put out by a record label. Like before that, I'm sure she had other ones. But yeah, she's part of this Broken Complex crew. Okay. I like it quite a bit. Got some, got some in there. And, uh, yeah, I definitely wanted to bring up this one. This one is the one that resonated with me the most recently, though I don't know how much like the regular hip hop head will be able to feel it. This is the new album from Bike for Three, So Much Forever, and it's the latest project from uh, rapper Buck65 from Canada, who's kind of an elusive, strange guy. You never know what he's doing. You know, one minute he's like signed to Warner Brothers Canada, the next he's dropping some weird, obscure. Uh, group project with this. This is with a European producer, Joel Ley, who has a very sparse sort of electronic sound or production. And I gotta say, this this project impressed the hell out of me, you know? It's like, it's late night listening that you sort of like tune into about 1 a.m. or so. I'll usually start listening to it. And um, it really does deliver a really interesting sort of mysterious like electronic sound. 
with really interesting styles from Buck and like lyrics too, you know, like he really knows how to change up his styles for different tracks to get different moods going. Uh, I think it's great. It's also uh, the 50th release on Fake 4 Incorporated, which is one of my favorite labels, so I hope you check that out. Um, let's go over to the vinyl. That's new, Open Mic Eagle. Yes. A lot of new ones, actually. Finally, Open Mic Eagle on finally, vinyl. Finally. This is actually an album from, is from a couple of years ago, but I'm glad that this is the one they chose to put out on Wax because it's my favorite Open Mic Eagle album. And it's called Rappers Will Die of Natural Causes. This guy, I've talked about him on this before, but he is one of my favorite rappers out of L.A. Great guy to support, stand-up dude. So I'm out here recently at Elbow Room with Hellfire Club, bus driver and all that, and it was a killer show. I just highly recommend supporting all of his stuff. Um, check that out. Got the Dag Savage on record. Okay. Talked about this one. Some real nice jams on there. Also, the Denmark Vessi and Scud One on vinyl is another person on this dirty science camp. And um, he's a really excellent rapper from Detroit. I think uh, his rapping style is really uh, versatile and interesting. And sounds very conceptual. It's about religious cults. He also lives a couple blocks down the street now. He's, wow. He moved to Berkeley or something Everyone like that. Everyone lives in the East Bay now. <laughs> Everyone's living in the East Bay now, I guess. <laughs> Uh, Pyramid Vitri is a, yeah, or is Vritra is a, Again, you'd never think this was a hip-hop album. It's, it's, it's like, a weird sort of beat-driven right. hip-hop project. It's on Stone's Throw, latest okay. release on Stone's Throw. He's kind of uh, one of the producers for the Odd Future Kids out of uh, Los Angeles. And he's also, you know, exper a little more experimental than you might okay. normally associate with those guys. But um, very weird electronic sort of mumbly stuff. I haven't listened to the whole thing. It's kind of interesting, though. Uh, Cities of Vive. This one I've been hearing about from friends of mine from the Bay. Yeah, um, I don't actually know too much about this dude, but I know that he has somewhat of a reputation on the internet and amongst my Bay Area homies too, because they always say, oh, "Dude, you let you gotta listen to Cities of Vive." Like, okay, you know, uh, I definitely need to get on this. Uh, I know it's on the same label that put out the Main Attractions album on vinyl too, so okay. that's cool. And last but not least, let's wrap it up with uh, the latest in the House Shoes Presents the Gift series. Uh, this is, you know, a series that DJ House Shoes has been putting together for different producers from Detroit. This latest one is for Rudy X, a.k.a. XEXT. And, you know, House Shoes always digs up some talent. Mm -hmm. This is all, this is like some of the nicer beat stuff that right. you can dig up on vinyl. It's just available on Wax, too. And, uh... I also like how all of their album covers are homaging classic jazz covers. This is actually a Cannonball Adderley homage. There's right. the, the record sitting over there in the jazz section, the exact same kind of font and style. So that's that's up to me too. You know? I like homages like that. So, there you have it. Thank you so much, Elit at Amoeba Music Berkeley.